In this video, I'm going to go over how to set up uh, InDesign files, whether you're making a book or a book cover. So I already have InDesign open. If you need to open InDesign, you can see this little logo up here, the ID, that's what you're looking for. And you come to this home screen, which looks very similar to most other Creative Cloud apps. So I'm going to go ahead and create new. And I'm going to go over making a book cover first, uh, because that is just going to be a single page. But InDesign is also great for making an entire book. So if I wanted to make, say, a book cover that was 9 by 12 inches, I would first go ahead, unless I was well versed in pikas or really making something for a printer that wanted something in pikas, I'm going to go ahead and change my units to inches. And then if I have a 9 by 12 inch book, and let's say it has a 1 inch spine, then uh, I'm going to have it when it's closed, it's going to be portrait orientation, so it's going to be 12 inches high, but then it's going to be 9 inches for the front cover, plus 1 inch for the spine, plus 9 inches for the back cover, which is 19 inches. So that would be the size document that I would make for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Create for that. And then if I wanted to bring out some guides to mark where uh, my spine was, I could simply just drag out some guides to 9 inches and 10 inches, right? And so then this 1 inch area here is my uh, spine. Let's say I get that right. All right, so then I, I have my front cover, my spine, and my back cover, and it's just one page that's set up. And then you can bring in other uh, images, files, you can add type, you can do a bunch of different things uh, for layout in InDesign. Now, uh, if I wanted to make a full-on booklet, I would go to File and New Document. And in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and choose a print size, and I'm going to choose a half letter, which is literally um, a US letter size split in half so that uh, we can see that it's five and a half inches by eight and a half so that you can take a full sheet of letter and fold it in half to get your booklet. Now in this case, I want to check facing pages and I want to have um, 16 pages. You want to choose a multiple of four if you're going to just simply fold it. And I'm just going to go ahead and create this just so you can see what it looks like. And so this is my first page. And if I go over to my pages here, you can see that I have my first page and then my first spread. I can double click to look at that and I can lay out an entire book in this way. Now, before I really start doing any layout, whether it's for a booklet or for a cover, I'm going to want to go ahead and save my file. So I'm just going to do a simple uh, frame, rectangle frame tool, and this will let me place something into my document. But the first thing I'm really going to want to do is save this because with InDesign, all of your files that you put into InDesign need to be in a place that InDesign can find it. So the way that I like to do it is I first like to go ahead and save my document for the first time. And I'm going to call this book cover demo. And then I already have a folder in artist book cover, but let me just go ahead and I'm going to make a new folder to put this in and call this in book cover demo. And it's going to be a folder. And within the folder, I am going to have all of my other files as well. And so if I wanted to place an image or I wanted to place an Illustrator file, I'd want to have all those files within that folder because if I don't, then InDesign won't be able to find it. 